we are seeing a lot of money move toward the smart UL because people, they certainly want a coverage. Term can certainly get it cheap. Their next step up is going to be the smart UL. And I think we've got a great opportunity uh, for you to look at this both on a medical and non-medical basis. So what I did today to help out is I have a QR code on the front. Mm -hmm. So if everybody will take just a second and hit that QR code with their phone, that'll give you the entire playbook or portfolio that we have. So that way, Greg doesn't have to send it out to you. You don't have to call me. You can have it when we get off the uh, the podcast today. You'll have everything in front of you. And it'll go a little more in depth than what we're going to uh, to go through today. So hopefully you've hit that. If not, uh, you know, certainly back up and, and you can do it. Good. So let's take a look at this. We're going to go through pretty much at a high level. I'm going to cover the product, the medical, the non-medical. Then we're going to look at how do we quote this thing. And I'm going to give you a great way to quote it right as we're on the phone. If you've got our app downloaded and if not, we'll show you how to do that. So at the very end today, you can go out and start talking to clients today about the Smart UL. So let's let's get this thing rolling. Smart UL, very simply, a current assumption UL, flexibility, customizable. You've got a lot of things that you can do with this. Charity benefit provision we'll talk about here in just a second. And of course, a normal level and, and increasing death benefit. But let's jump into our non-med. I think that this is where we really shine because again, as a middle market type carrier, you'll be able to see where you can get a case issued in a very, very short time on our non-medical basis. And when we look at non-medical, we're looking at really these three items that you see to the left, MIB, prescription history, and a build chart. That's it. As long as, you know, we're going to answer the lifestyle and health questions, but we're not going to do a random telephone call. We don't need a mortgage card. We don't need anything. We're going to underwrite your client based upon those three items. So when you're filling out that application, tell us your client's story. That's how we're going to underwrite this case. And we can get them, as you guys have seen already, underwritten very, very quickly. And our underwriting, as you can see, we will go up to $400,000 through age 55. So you've got that client that says, listen, I want uh, a permanent product. I don't want to go through medical. I don't have the time to do it. Whatever the reason is, we can get up to $55,000, $400,000. And then you've got those clients up to seventy five. dollars we can get $150,000. You know, when somebody looks at a, um, a client that may be 68, 70 years old, 73 years old, a lot of times people will pivot to final expense. You don't have to do that. With the Smart UL, as you can see, you can go as low as $25,000 on this product non-medically, get it underwritten quickly. We're going to do, again, MIB, prescription history, height and weight chart, and our height and weight chart is extremely liberal. Gosh, it's six feet, 307 pounds. So if somebody lives on Krispy Kreme every day, they've got an opportunity to uh, get a product uh, at a standard rate. So again, great opportunity here on a non-medical basis. And should you write this on a juvenile, you can see that we will go as low as 10,000 uh, and as much as 150,000 non-medical. So again, a very wide uh, opportunity of coverages on a non-medical basis. Now, medical complement, a great product on the medical as well. Got all the normal underwriting classes, preferred plus all the way down to juvenile. And if you have somebody who is tobacco user, got some great tobacco rates. And we do periodically have those that are substandard. And I think that you'll find those acceptable as well. So again, if you're looking at the non-med, you've seen those, the medical, you see all the compliments that are there. The interesting thing is we're going to have a little change in the medical underwriting. Uh, we're going to be through age 15. That is going to be a minimum of 50 through 70. It's a minimum of 100 through 75, minimum 50. And then at that older age, we're going to actually go to age 85. So you end up with that 77 year old that is, you know, fairly healthy. They want more coverage than they're going to get from a final expense, or they potentially don't want to pay for what that final expense would cost them at that point in time. You have the ability on a medical basis to underwrite this for as low as $25,000 as well. So just in these first couple of slides, hopefully you've got some people in mind that you're thinking, gosh, I can go out and offer this today. I can get that client that wanted that final expense or look at that client that wanted a term, but gosh, they didn't want to go through medical. And now we have an opportunity where we can do this on a medical basis. But there's even better news. 
Forrester's Financial has accelerated underwriting. Now, I'm not going to get real in depth to it today, but bottom line is accelerated underwriting up to a million dollars through age 55. We're marketing this as a fully underwritten case, and we're asking for accelerated underwriting when we submit that application. And our goal with accelerated underwriting is to have that case out in about seven days. On the UL, we're seeing about 35% of our cases that are asked for for accelerated underwriting go through the accelerated underwriting process. There are some guidelines and I encourage you to, to reach out to Greg and team and they can provide those. Or if you're already contracted, you can get onto EasyBiz and download just a, 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 a probably three or four items that will help you understand accelerated underwriting. We're having great success with it and I encourage you to use it again. Up to age 55, a million dollars, we're marketing it as a medically underwritten, but we're asking for accelerated underwriting. If they qualify, our goal is to push that business through. At the end of the day, if you submit it to us, we want to issue it and we'll do it the best way we can. If it falls out of accelerated underwriting for any reason, that doesn't mean that they're not going to get best class. It means that something in one of those factors didn't jive. And we need to look at this a little differently, but we still see cases that are not accelerated underwriting uh, that have gone through that, that have still gotten the best class. So don't fear once you're looking at that. But now let's look at the base product. Again, this is going to be very simplistic. It's going to be very normal for what you've seen, what you're used to seeing. Again, a level and increasing death benefit. I'm not going to spend the time going through the nice graphs here, but again, uh, know that those are available to you. We do have a 10 year lapse protection guarantee. So for those clients that are going to minimum fund this, please keep that in mind, the 10 year lapse. And then we'll show you some ways that we're going to fund it differently for it will carry much, much longer and have the ability to give your client that permanent protection that they are wanting and needing. Uh, current interest rate, four and a half percent. We just increased that on July 18th. Uh, so again, a nice increase. It went from four. 0.2 to four and a half. So uh, we recognize the marketplace and we did increase that. And the product does have a 2% minimum rate guarantee. People have asked us, Tony, can I borrow from this? My clients are funding this to the point where they want to take money out potentially. Yes, you can. And 4% loan rate right now in years one through seven. And then preferred loans, which those are less interest as you see at 2% uh, percent in year seven plus. So again, Great opportunity to get coverage, great opportunity to uh, accumulate cash. And should somebody need to take a loan out of this product, it's there for, the, for them as they need. Another question that comes up is, gosh, Tony, I've got a client that uh, potentially they got longevity in their family. What happens if they live beyond age 100? Gosh, there's no more premiums that are going to be paid into the certificate. It turns out to be just a tremendous product for them then. No more deductions. The interest continues to accumulate. So it turns out to be a great product. And I'll tell you, as you see, when you're out there marketing today, we are living much, much longer. You know, probably 20 years ago, 30 years ago, when I first started in, in this business, uh, gosh, we didn't talk about living to age 100. But today, that is a very, very common uh, conversation that you're having. So again, be, uh, be confident and comfortable that uh, the coverage will be there. We do require an illustration. So a lot of times when you're going to fill out that application, hopefully you're doing EAP, please do EAP. About 88% of our cases coming in are EAP, makes everything a lot smoother. You're either going to complete a certificate of illustration or you're going to complete the illustration. We prefer the illustration because that way we have an idea of what that case is to look like. Just in case something on the application may be a little off, then we have an idea from the illustration of what you were trying to do. And then we can coordinate that with you and get the case issued in a timely manner. Charity benefit provision. We've talked about this when we uh, discussed the strong foundation. This is a contractual provision that states basically that Foresters is going to pay out 101% of the death benefit at the your client's passing. 100% of the death benefit goes to your client's named beneficiary as they desired. Foresters then takes 1%, let's say out of our bank account and we pay to their name charity in their name as a benefit for owning a Forester's certificate, a Forester's financial product. So summary, uh, we've got a $400,000 policy we've done on a non-medical basis. It went through, everything's perfect. Your client gets a certificate. 
they've chosen as their charity, let's say um, American Cancer Society, for instance, some years down the road, they were to pass away. We're paying that $400,000 out to the client's beneficiary. Then we're paying $4,000 out of the Forrester's bank account to the American Cancer Society in that client's name. So again, we're not going to talk a lot about member benefits today, but we are doing a lot with the family and the community. And this is just one of those items where we try to give back to the community in that uh, client's name again. And this doesn't cost a penny. There's no box you got to check off. You just need to tell us who that charity is going to be. It could be one charity, three charities. You can change them. It's just whichever charity is on that piece of paper when that client were to pass away is where that check's going. So again, talk to your clients about this. Middle market loves that. Riders. Gosh, let's talk about just a couple here. Accelerated death benefit rider is available. That's our living benefits. If you remember, that's the commonly used term right now. It's accelerated benefit rider, living benefits. We'll talk a little bit about that here in just a second when we do a little bit deeper dive. And we also have a children's term rider that's used a lot. And I'll talk a little bit about that. But bottom line is, uh, if you're insuring the whole family, what a great opportunity to add the children's term rider on there. Or on another podcast, we'll talk about uh, our juvenile whole life, which can be used as well. But if we're looking covering the entire family or at least, uh, let's say, dad, mom or dad, the, the parents and add the children's term rider, it's very inexpensive. And we'll cover that here in just a second. So let's do a little bit deeper dive. Gosh, we've got a great product flowing. You've seen the opportunity that's there. You've seen the charity benefit. Now, what else can we do with this? Again, the accelerated death benefit rider, that amount of money that's available for a client that they don't need to pass away to use. Uh, the living benefits you'll see are the chronic, critical, and terminal illness. Uh, those are available free. They're no cost. They're added on the certificates automatically as long as they're standard or better. And the terminal illness is available uh, for anything that's going to be substandard. So let's just glance real quickly at the chronic illness. And again, we've got some other information that we can dig deeper on this, but today is a high overview. Chronic illness is basically where a client uh, needs assistance from another person to, for the, at least two of six ADLs, bathing, continence, dressing, so on. Then that becomes available where they can access some of that death benefit to help out with those events that would potentially happen. It is free of charge. It's on the, the, um, the products that you'll be receiving. And again, chronic illness is certainly something that's going to be used uh, should your client need it. Critical illness. Again, another accelerated living death benefit or living benefit. Uh, and you can see critical illness is available for a client that potentially has life-threatening cancer, a heart attack, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, ALS, a mortgage, uh, major organ failure. Gosh, just a number of things that happen that, um, gosh, we don't know how to prepare for sometimes. And when we don't, we have some of that death benefit that we can go access in order to potentially help with medical bills. Maybe there's a bucket list. There's a whole host of things. We're not saying what you've got to use that money for, but that money is available should the client need it for really any reason at all. They can access a portion of that death benefit. And then terminal illness. Gosh, this is, uh, you know, certainly something we don't talk about a lot, but, you know, insurance sometimes is uncomfortable to talk about. But should a client need to access some of that death benefit because of a terminal illness, then you can see that that is available under this product as well. And again, it is a no cost rider uh, that's added on to each one of those products of $10,000 or more. So we talked a little bit about the living benefits. Those are going to be extremely important. Children's term rider is another one. The children's term rider, uh, you can actually purchase uh, with in children is, is, I guess, as young as 15 days, let's say, and not have reached their 18th birthday. And a quick idea is $25,000. You can cover each child in a house for up to $25,000 for about $12.50 total. So if I've got one child, it's $12.50. If I've got six children, it's still just $12.50, and it covers every child for up to $25,000. We can go as low as 10. And the great part about it is, is that child term rider is actually convertible. 
Uh, you can convert it through age 25 up to five times or $100,000, whichever is greater. Again, no, uh, no underwriting, no uh, you know, re requirement other than, hey, listen, we want to convert it, and then we'll do the conversion at that time. A great opportunity, again, to make sure that we've got that family covered. Great part about it is if you sell this, well, let's say that they have two children today, as more children enter the family, either by birth or adoption, it's automatically extended to those children. So it's not where they have to go through the underwriting again. It's automatically ex extended to those children that the maximum or that up to 10,000 up to $25,000 of death benefit. So again, I think you've seen a great product here. You know, it's very simplistic. It's a true cash accumulation, current assumption UL that you can purchase on a a uh, non-medical basis, a medical basis. It's flexible. It's customizable. There's a potential for loans. Gosh, Greg, I, I mean, this is why you guys are selling a lot of this. Absolutely. It's because it's, uh, it's that step up from term and it's a permanent policy and you have all the benefits that we've just talked about in getting something done very quickly for a client. Absolutely. I can see it. Yeah. So <laughs> how do we quote this? Gosh, you know, we've we've got uh, we've liked this. We've got some clients in mind. We're going to go out. We're going to sell this product. How do we how do we quote this product? Well, a couple of ways. You've got a normal web based program, which is fabulous. We will need that you to use that whenever you run the illustration. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to run a quick quote. So you're sitting out there today. Gosh, Tony, I want to look at this. How do I do it? I'm at Starbucks tonight. I'm at, uh, you know, I'm in a ball game. Somebody, you know, sends me an email and good grief as an agent myself, I'm emailing back to them and I'm saying, yeah, we can cover you. Let me send you a quote. Go to the app store, download the Forrester's mobile quote app, iPhone and Android friendly, very simplistic. You'll see it, download it. Once you do, it's going to be as simple as three slides here. You're going to go in there and choose the product. We're choosing Smart UL today. All of a sudden, as you'll see down at the bottom, there's a, uh, a navigation bar. It's that simple. You're going to choose the product. You're going to choose the client information, gender, how, the payment frequency, whatever we need here. And then you're going to hit Get Quote. When you hit Get Quote, you have three different quotes that pop up in front of you. One, the minimum premium, and that's going to be the premium which it carries it for 10 years. Smart Solve, which estimates the level premium to 100 based on a non-guaranteed basis and the current cost of insurance. And then commissionable target premium. And that's the premium that calculates the maximum premium payment that's eligible for full commissions. Anything over that, of course, is going to be excess. So as you're looking at this, you've got all three right in front of you. So you're sitting at Starbucks drinking your latte. You're telling your client, you know what, your smart solve is going to be $165. Um, you know, they say, gosh, you know, maybe that's too much. Well, we can certainly look at a minimum premium. I don't recommend a minimum premium all the time, but that's going to cost you $95. And then, of course, we can certainly look at a commissionable target, which you know what that number is. And it's, you can see that it's going to be certainly a little less. But again, it's that simple. Three slides, you get a quote, probably takes you 60 seconds. You've got it in your client's hands. You get back to the office, you call them, you get on the phone, you do the the um, the e-app right there on the phone, because as you know, we can do those non-face-to-face, -face, or you go visit them and write the app up. It's that simple. And that is super excellent. simple. No, I like how you simple. break that down, because, um, you know, I, I've, I've done a couple of smart ULs. Mm -hmm. I didn't know the difference. I knew that the minimum was, but I didn't know the difference between the smart solve yeah. and the commissional target premium. And I always thought that the commissional target premium was just like what the smart solve would pay out on. Sure. Not exactly what, you know, what, like what would be paid out in terms of if you did the annual premium off the commissional target, that's what you yeah. paid out if you did the, the smart solve, but that makes a lot of sense. So, it, yeah. And, and you'll see the same information. Of course, it's a little more in depth once you get on the easy biz site, because you'll get all the ledgers that you need. You'll get the signature page that we need, but gosh, if you're just looking at, Hey, what can I do? Get to this client real quickly. This is the way to go. And by the way, you run all of our products on the uh, the mobile quote. So if you're running the strong foundation, like we talked about last time, same exact thing. You're just choosing a different product. You want to run juvenile whole life, same exact thing. As a matter of fact, you have to run juvenile whole life on here as well as our plan right. You'll see plan right. Should you want to write final expense? This is all encompassing. But uh, yeah, 
it's, it's a great, great tool. As a matter of fact, talking about the different products right there in front of you, you've got about everything you need. You want a medical reference guide for plan, right? You want to see what we've talked about a lot deeper today. And you've got your phone sitting, you know, in, in the parking lot, wanting to talk to your client here in just a second, you've got the opportunity to go look, you want an underwriting guide. Gosh, it's right there. You've got your office in your hand and we've not gone in depth today. And, and I'll probably say that for another podcast where this is actually your office in your phone because you can also look up your pending cases, your enforced cases, your inactive cases. You're, you have a requirement that's due. You can get it off of your phone, upload it by your phone. You're going to get notifications when a case is issued. We're trying to make everything mobile. And again, this is a great resource. And I encourage you, if you've not downloaded it, go do it today because it's going to be that important for you going forward. Uh, and, we're, and we're improving it every day. So uh, listen, you guys have ideas, send them through Greg and team, and uh, we'll put them on the list and see if it's something that we can do. Uh, but again, great opportunity here. And this, and this, this is gold right here for agents watching this. If you are not doing this, if you're not downloading this and adding it to your arsenal of just tools in your toolkit so that you can assist clients in a, in a more expedient way, more efficient way and get these, get these policies out there then you're shooting yourself in the foot. Like you got to go, you got to go, you know, download these apps and you got to go make sure that you're using the, the, the QR codes. Like those are awesome yeah. to, to have a quick reference sheet of everything that, you know, what you can go ahead and get approved. So. Yeah. Yeah. No, love them. And it's like I said, everything that you see on here mobily, I mean, if, if you've got an answer, a quick question, pop on your mobile, hit this underwriting guide client tells you, Hey, listen, I'm six feet and 382 pounds. Gosh, let me, let me click on my mobile quote here. Is that going to be something that's going to get us on a non-medical basis? And you're going to see no, or you've got a client that says, Hey, I'm six foot and 299 and you're unsure. Boom. Click here. It gives you that. And remember, we talked about the diabetes last time on strong foundation. If you'll look down there, we've got information on the diabetes as well. So again, when I tell you this is all encompassing, we've just only covered one part today. So, uh, you know, certainly download that. Yeah. So, you know, there's, there's not a lot more to tell about the strong foundation. Gosh, I mean, non-medical or medical, you choose. If it's non-medical, we're going to get it issued pretty quickly. And we're still diabetic friendly on our non-medical where we will look at a client uh, with an 8.9 A1C. As long as we don't have any of those, you know, neuropathy issues and, you know, uh, you know, a lot of those types of issues, we'll still still look at that client based upon A1C, their age and their height, weight and duration. So, again, on the non-medical basis, we're still open to that. Remember, the strong foundation goes much farther than the 8.9 A1C. But on a non-medical basis, the smart UL is still available for your type 2 diabetics. Yeah, awesome. So with that, I'm going to end it up with something exciting. Uh, this is actually going to be released here very shortly. I think uh, maybe uh -oh, tomorrow. Oh, dropping some news. Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully this is going to go out a little bit later or else I may be working for Advantage One here soon. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> hey, listen, you guys do a fabulous job. You work hard. We want to celebrate with you. And we're our Foresters Financial Convention in 2023 is Vienna and Prague. Gosh, we're going to spend five beautiful days. And for anybody that has been on one of the Foresters trips before, you know that it is first class. We're going to have it at about one hundred thousand dollars of uh, of qualification premium this year. Um, and all this is going to come out in an email to you guys, Greg, and I'm actually requested an email that I can send directly to you guys that you can send out to all your team. Oh, uh, I love that. We, list we, everything. Once we can pr promote that, we oh, will man. promote the heck out of it. Yeah. And I'm just telling you, ask anybody that's been on a Forester's trip. It has been phenomenal. We got to watch our, of course, our hundred thousand dollars. We got to watch our persistency and our placement. That's important to the profitability of the company. But I want you to focus in on this. I want as many people from Advantage One to be there because we're going to stand up on stage and we're going to scream and holler and just have a blast. So, uh, and I'm going to give you a way to track it. So this is going to be, this is, is the one for this year that ends on December 31st, but you're going to be able to track your progress, including placement and persistency anytime that you want on the fly. So you'll go to easy biz, you'll put in your agent number, you'll hit submit. 
and it'll come up and it'll say, Greg, you've got $183,000. Your placement persistency is great. You know, you know, you're on track to, to make that trip. So again, we want to make it easy for you. We think we've got a phenomenal product portfolio. We think we've got a great process. You've got a great team at Advantage Plus that you're working, I mean, Advantage uh, One that you're working with. And um, gosh, now we've got a way to celebrate your success. So uh, yeah, we'll certainly get this where you can send it out to your group. And with that, uh, I'm going to give you the number here that you'll see in front of you, the 866-466-7166. That's to our sales desk. Effective yesterday, I have two internals that are now assigned to me that, Greg, when we get their direct lines, we'll send to you guys uh, so you'll have them where people can call in direct to them. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's going to be phenomenal. Listen, guys, we love the relationship with Advantage One. It's phenomenal. We think, again, we've got the product, the process, and, of course, now you see the incentive to do business uh, with Forrester so we can do a celebration of your success.